Welcome back to the Homegrown Chronicles. This is gonna be the start of our second video on this mini series that we're doing on how to grow your own mushrooms. So if you haven't seen the first one, watch that, catch up, and then come back to this video. So assuming that everyone has their bags already inoculated, that's gonna give us two to three weeks until they're ready. So that gives us two to three weeks to get all this stuff together. Now, it doesn't matter what order you have it, but you need it all when your bags are ready. So we're gonna have to hit up a couple stores or start shopping online. Now, some of this stuff you already have. You probably already have your latex gloves, your microfilm tape, and plenty of isopropyl alcohol with a spray bottle. So the best store to hit up first is Home Depot. Um, you're gonna wanna grab a couple black duct tapes. They're five bucks each, and you're gonna need probably more than one, but not more than two. So grab yourself a couple of these, and then go to the drill bit section. Now, these are hole punches that are right with all the drill bits, and you are going to want to get a two and one eighth inch punch. Now these kind of suck because they're just a little more expensive than you want to spend because when else are you going to be using this other than making your mushroom bins? And the answer is you probably won't, but do yourself a favor, bite the bullet. I think these are like 18, $19 and you will be set for that. Don't go and get the smaller ones to save a couple bucks. This is going to allow you to make bigger bins and also the bins that we're gonna go with. It's a one-time expense and should be lifetime. I mean, this thing's solid. So grab yourself a two and one eighth inch hole punch. Then we're gonna wanna go to the gardening section. Now this is hit and miss depending on the seasons at Home Depot, but you're gonna want to get a big bag of vermiculite. Now you can actually do with a half bag and you'll probably be able to make a lot of substrate with it. But this was on sale since it's winter's coming and they're just getting rid of their stock. I'll have vermiculite for a long time. This is gonna cost 10 bucks on sale, 20 bucks if it's full price. So we're going to get vermiculite. Then I want you to look for this. This might be there, maybe not. I've had to get mine online, but it is garden gypsum. Now this stuff is a lot cheaper than the pure powdered form of gypsum. I've used both and I've had good results from both. Some aficionados might say you need to get this stuff, which is the real good stuff. But after using both of them, I really hope that the results are pretty similar because the powder stuff turns into almost like a grease-like consistency. And so you'll have to mix up the substrate so much more and it's just nasty and gross might be really good for mushrooms but like i said i've had good results with this and it is a quarter of the cost and probably more likely to be at home depot either way get your hands on some gypsum so this one i did have to order online maybe they have it at a gardening store but um you're gonna want to get your hands on some premium coconut chore pith. So these are, they come in bricks of five here. So um, one of these is a perfect measurement for making a batch of substrate, which we'll get to down the road here. But uh, you're gonna need this. And I would say a five pack is good. If they sold a 10 pack, I would get a 10 pack because you are going to go through this, but get yourself at least five of these. So the last thing you wanna get while you're at Home Depot is one of these cheap Home Depot buckets, $3.50. 
and get the lid the airtight lid that comes with it another disgusting orange color and then you will be set for making your substrate with this so let's talk about the last thing that we need which is our bins that we're actually going to grow the mushrooms in now home depot does have bins but usually they're more expensive so i like to go to target or walmart and what you're going to look for is clear bins now they're really cheap they're about five bucks each this is a Sterilite brand. Doesn't have to be Sterilite. It can be the home essentials that Target has or whatever it is. But you're gonna wanna get a 20 liter size bin. And you're gonna wanna get six of them. As long as they're clear here, doesn't matter if the lid is clear, mine is not, does not matter. Um, the reason we're gonna get six smaller bins rather than one big tub is we're gonna mitigate our risk. If one of these bins goes south and gets contaminated, then you're still gonna have other bins. It won't be a total loss. Whereas if you only have one bin and something goes wrong, which usually your first time is more likely than once you actually become a seasoned veteran here, then you are totally screwed. So. I like just using the smaller bins. If you have multiple varieties of mushrooms you wanna grow at the same time, then that's all the benefit. You can just have different species of mushrooms growing and we're mitigating the risk. So, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to get six of these. Now this one is prepared already. It actually has a cake in there. Um, you'll notice that it's got this black stripe and it's blacked out on the bottom. Um, we're gonna go over how I make the bins in the next video, but just don't worry about that. These are just gonna be clear bins and I'll teach you how to prepare them later. So once we have all these things knocked off our list, we will be ready to start growing our mushrooms when they're ready in the bags.